Hi YouTube, hi alopecians out there in the world. How are y'all doing? I'm Ashley and welcome to the remix. Today I wanted to talk to y'all about a weird sort of subject. Um, if you are someone that has experienced alopecia as I have, you may have come across this as well, but I don't want to take a shower. So we're going to talk about not wanting to take a shower, not wanting to even get near the shower and why that has become a fear for so many for other reasons as well. And I'm going to put a little makeup on. So welcome everyone. Um, let's see, let me start by doing this. So when you have alopecia, your hair is falling out. Um, it, as you can see, I'm bald, but when my hair was actively falling out both times around, I dreaded, absolutely dreaded with every depth of my soul getting into the shower. And if you have alopecia, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to get in. You will do anything. You will change your clothes. Whatever you can do to make yourself, you know, go just an extra day without having to wash that hair. Because every time you wash your hair, you lose tons of it. And that would send me into a psychological tailspin every time. Okay, let me put some makeup on and then I can talk about it a little bit easier. I put a little primer on before this, guys. I don't normally always put primer. Sometimes I just use lotion. So, some people might think, wow, what a weird topic that she's talking about. Like, who doesn't want to take a shower? And it's not that you don't want to be clean or that you don't want your hair to be clean, that you don't want to feel fresh. I think everybody wants that feeling. It's just the action of getting into your shower and actually doing that when, you hair, when your hair is falling out. It's like going into a war zone. It's like, uh, let me avoid this at all cost. I'm gonna do everything I can to not get in the shower. And I used to love baths, and I'm sure many of you as well used to love baths or showers, but when my hair started falling out, the bath and the shower became my worst enemy. Um, I do have a few tips to help you guys. Um, when you don't take a shower, you start becoming extremely, it's a sign of depression. In mental health, one of the things that they judge you on if you're, if you have mental health issues or not, and if you're going through alopecia, of course you probably have some, some depression going on. But one of the things that they judge you by is your hygiene. Hygiene is a sign of good mental health, good hygiene, good mental health normally. I'm just saying poor hygiene, you know, like in homeless populations or in people that live in their houses that don't take care of themselves because they're severely depressed or they have PTSD or whatever the case might be, tend not to take a shower. So then all of a sudden people with fear of taking the shower, like alopecians, get lumped into the same category with people with mental health problems. So that's reason number one, why you wanna try to at least take a shower or bath. Um, you do not wanna be, have someone telling you that on top of everything else that you are losing your mind and you very well may be depressed. There's many days that I'd never, that I didn't wanna get in the shower. I would cry about it. I would like have to give myself a pep talk, be like, okay, like 15 more minutes, Ashley, you're going into that shower no matter what, like a toddler, like you would have to do for a little kid. That's what I had to do to myself to get myself to a point where I could even take step in the shower without just breaking down and having a full on panic attack because it's that severe. And everyone knows what I'm talking about. If you've been there, the hair, 
is all around on the sides of your bathtub or your shower and it, it just it looks like everything that you had left on your your head just came out right then and you and then you don't want to go to to dry your hair or comb your hair because more of it comes out even more further and so you're like god it's the worst um you just don't know want to know how much that you've lost on that journey. But the truth is, the hair is going to fall out regardless. The best thing that you can actually do is try to take care of the hair that you have left remaining. And um, you can do that by using... I would say, don't you don't, unless you're super sweaty or you need to and you have extra oily hair, don't wash your hair every single day take a bath or wear a shower cap or something like that if you're not a bath person, but I would take baths. And then when I did wash my hair, I would use a very mild shampoo and lots of conditioner and sometimes only conditioner for like one day. Um, and I found that to be really helpful because the conditioner brings back some life to your, what feels like brittle and dying hair. And I remember that, I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a few, it was a couple of years ago now. But, so, it went from me not wanting to take a shower. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, I can't live like this. Like, I have, I have to go to work. I have to, you know, I can't smell. Like, I can't just, so, how am I going to do this? So, my solution was kind of, weird and it took a path of its own and it might be helpful for some of y'all. The first thing I did was I tried candles, but then I found like, you can't really control that. It's, you know, like every single time you want to jump in the shower, it's sort of not feasible to light candles romantically. So what I did was I found an LED shower head that turns different colors like green when it's warm red when it's like hot and cold when it's blue and then i found a mirror like this i have this huge mirror in my bathroom and i found the led strips that you can put around and i put led strips and, around and like made a soft blue color in there um and made it really sort of dim and then i just turned all the other lights off so I took a shower essentially in like a dim sort of dark setting. And that helps you not be able to see and deal with it a little bit, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's something I still have, even though now that I have no hair at all, um, I still have the LED lights and I love them. It, it, there's a warmth to it. Um, almost like being wrapped in your favorite warm blanket, <laughs> as a southerner would say, but there's like a warmth to it. So, and then the LED shower head, and you really don't need more light than that. Um, and I'm blind. So yeah, you really don't need more light than that. And it works phenomenally. Um, phenomenally. Also, if you can, if you are, if you have a roommate or husband or boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, child, someone that's willing to clean the hair out of your shower or your bathtub, that's a huge help because that's the part that is sort of the hardest is seeing how much you've lost. Like looking down at me and like oh, seeing these huge chunks of hair, it just sort of, it, it, it recreates this whole depressive mode. You go back into depression, you get anxiety, and then your hair falls out worse. So, if you can find someone to clean that up for you, like, I don't know, maybe bribe your children, maybe your husband. My husband was nice enough to do it for me. I did it for myself for a long time, and then he would see the after effect of me breaking down, and then he just started doing it for me one day, and it made all the difference in the world to have somebody else, um to have somebody else do it. Um, if you can't have, if there's no, if you live alone, if you're an independent person, if you, people don't know you have alopecia, you don't want anyone to know, um, and you have to clean it yourself, 
Uh, this is what I would do. I would get out of the shower and I would wait. Wait till it's all dry. Give yourself time to like mentally prepare yourself for cleaning it. And then I would do it that way. I would, I would wait until I was mentally prepared. And if that means like playing rock music or getting yourself pumped up, um, what just time, just waiting and having some time to decompress, you know, to where you can physically deal with it, then that's how I would do it. Um, when I first went through this journey, I was the one entering into Google and DuckDuckGo, things like, I don't want to take a shower. I dread taking showers and nothing ever came up. Um, hard, there, there, there wasn't anybody talking about that. And now I see it more and more. And I wanted to make this video because I know exactly what you're going through. It's like um, post-traumatic stress every day of your life when you are, are dealing with hair loss and dealing with something that's so delicate. It's like your soul is slowly being washed away every time you take a shower. But I learned in the end that me, you know, waiting every other day to shower or it just, it wasn't feasible. It wasn't healthy. And so you have to take a shower. We as alopecians, we must take a shower. As scary and as horrible as the shower may be, do everything you can to make it a happy environment. Um, atmosphere is everything with this disorder. Perspective is everything with this disorder. And showering is no different. Um, like I said, candles, LED lights, LED shower heads, make it dim, make it calm, listen to some calming music, um, take baths, maybe only wash your hair when it's super oily because some of us, like I didn't have to wash my hair every day. I could go every other day and it would be fine. So I'm making this video because I wish somebody would have made this video for me. So I would have thought that I wasn't the only person out there who simply just didn't want to get in the shower. Um, anyway, update guys um, that have been following me. My doctor started me on gel next. Um, just the cream, topical, not the oral yet. Uh, not approved for it yet. But um, I've been on it for about a week. I'm starting to see some little bumpiness as if like maybe it's growing. I'm still taking Vitorin and Allegra twice a day. Vitorin and Allegra twice a day. So yeah, I just want to say to everybody, take a shower. Don't be afraid. If it's something that you're struggling with, go through like you would baby proof a house. Go and make your shower an oasis as much as you can. Make your bathroom where you shower or take a bath as calm and gentle on your spirit as possible. And, and then just muster up the courage because you can and we have to. And um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all the messages and comments. I really appreciate them. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this was a little short sort of remix. I just wanted to say hi to you guys and let you know that it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to not want to take a shower. I know exactly how it feels. So I love you guys and have a great day. See you later.